Less than 30 seconds away from separation. There you see the Europa spacecraft. Those massive solar panels that you were talking about all stacked together. This is a big moment for the program, for NASA, APL, and JPL. Let's watch. Europa Clipper, separation confirmed. And there you go. NASA's Europa Clipper probe embarking on a long-awaited mission to study Jupiter's icy moon Europa. And what a sight, Mick. That is absolutely gorgeous, Gerald, to see Europa Clipper on its way. Successful deployment from Stage 2. Falcon Heavy performed very well today. Teams behind us are clapping and enjoying. That is a beautiful picture. Via the video, we can see that Clipper has successfully separated. Please say goodbye to Clipper on its way to Europa. Now, that voice you heard just there is the Europa Clipper flight director, Pranay Mishra. He's with the mission, mission support team. Okay, all stations, we are waiting for a sign of initial acquisition. Again, telecom will confirm when we have carrier lock, and DDM will let us know when they see the first packet down. You can see the second stage and the spacecraft just hit orbital sunrise, fully illuminated by the sun coming over the Earth. And as you just heard the flight director say, they are now going to be monitoring for an acquisition of signal. This will be the first time the spacecraft gets uh, information. Looking forward for that. The hope is that they would get it in the next few seconds. We're now looking at a split screen. On your left, you see Europa Clipper. On your right, this is telemetry coming. Or actually, this is the ground station looking for a spike, looking for a handshake with the spacecraft. And we expect to see that in the form of a blip. And Daryl, as you say, they expect that here in a few seconds, but it can happen in a few seconds uh, or anywhere from 15 minutes from now. So the team is closely monitoring this and looking, that, looking for that, and we're hoping that we can gain AOS here very shortly. Yes, there's a broad range of times for which AOS is expected. Flight GNC. Go. Just wanted to comment from the video that we could see that the sun was on the neg Y side of the spacecraft. There were very low visible separation rates, and the neg and Z axis was pointed at Earth. So this should be favorable for comp. Copy, GNC. Thank you. An acknowledgement from the team that that sunlight could help things out. They're looking to warm up the Light amplifiers. Phase. Go, phase. Sorry, I missed the session IDs for our essay sessions from GDS. Can you or GDS repeat those for me? We did not uh, call them out on net yet, but there are five session IDs that it will cycle through. So just a note. GDS, Happy. could you note those session IDs in your cache report, and then folks can go there and take a look? So they got two radios there that they are warming up. And once they get warm enough, they'll be able to send a signal transmitting down to the deep space network. And that's where JPL, the team that you see there in California, is awaiting to receive that signal basically a handshake saying, hey, I'm here, I'm good. The bigger telemetry and the, the more the data about how it's doing will come down later. So, uh, did we get confirmation that the alarm file was deployed? That's affirmative. Do we have the time um, at which that deployment was complete? GDS, do you have a specific time for when that alarm file deployment was complete? 17.05.06. Systems, you copy that time? Copy, thank you. Again, that's Europa Clipper Flight Director Pranay Mishra leading his team. Also, a partner in this mission is the Applied Physics Laboratory, their team on console as well.
are continuing to monitor the, the search for a signal. And I believe we have it. Right. There it is. Flight, this is Go, Telecom. Flight, this is Cal. We're seeing the signal on the open loop receiver. Copy, Telecom. And there you have it. Confirmation of signal from the spacecraft, Europa Clipper. In the room there at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory erupting in applause. These teams have worked a long time. Oh, you've got some high fives. Flight, I got data on SSC. Copy, Telecom. Flight, this is Telecom. Looks like 12 kilosymbols per second, as expected. Copy, Telecom. Solid data rate. <laughs> We're in lock. Flight, this is Telecom. We're in lock. Copy, Telecom. Flight systems. Go systems. We, and we have telemetry. We received uh, good temples and our displays are lighting up. Copy systems, initial act is confirmed. And now they just locked in full telemetry from the spacecraft. Another big milestone. Flight prop. Go prop. We are vented and primed. Thank you prop. The propulsion system now is ready. <laughs> uh, flight, this is NAV. Go, Go NAV. Uh, we see Doppler data. Copy, NAV. Blake, Blake. Um, flight systems. Go. Uh, we're reporting status that both branches failed to vent. I can prop please confirm if, you know, venting occurred successfully. I was about to do that. Uh, the pressures are good, but we are seeing the valve venting flag. We're taking a look right now. Copy, Copy prop. Thank you. Flight GNC. Go, GNC. We do see, uh, there's a telemetry that's gained too. Um, we do see that we are already in the mode GNC 3RS tracks on point and with the Z-axis rate is consistent with the Z-axis roll. Copy, thank you, GNC. Flight FP. Go FP. So the particular condition about both branch failing venting does not trigger a monitor and we have no indication that anything trips, so it just moved on. Copy. Can hear you, Sammy. Copy. Is that if um, both branches fail venting, the behavior moves on to an attempt's priming. Um, so if that is successful, we could get into tracks on point like we're seeing here. Um, yeah, depending on the cause of the bolt branches failing venting, which we'll look for prop to confirm more details on. Copy activity. Uh, activity, as you see, signs of the launch behavior continuing. Please call it out. Yes, if we're uh, flight this activity. <laughs> Go ahead. In, being in our tracks on point at this point, we are waiting the hour thermal roll, so we should all be looking for signs of being in the thermal roll right now. Copy activity. Yes. Yeah, flight GNC, just to confirm it again, we are in the thermal roll right now. And so GNC sees that we have already successfully found the sun, done a slew to sun point, and initiated the Z-axis roll. So uh, good indication that GNC is using the engine successfully. Copy, GNC. Do you have an estimate on the ta start time of that thermal roll? We're working that right now. I'll get that back to you. Thank you. An activity, when you have the telemetry in step 2-8, or can confirm the telemetry in step 2-8, please let me know. Flight C. Go ahead, B. Is power seeing anything in the thermal roll? Do we see any change? Go ahead, power. Uh, stand by. So what you're hearing is that the propulsion system was primed. It didn't get a vent on it, but they have later come to get confirmation that indeed the spacecraft is in a roll, so the propulsion system appears to be working. Yeah, absolutely. They have all good telemetry and everything going well. Uh, the spacecraft team's very happy, and they uh, got into their thermal role and doing very well. So awesome to see deployment. Awesome to see Europa Clipper on its way for this successful mission. Great job by all the teams on today's launch.